Hello, and welcome to the Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains Silver Award Informational Webinar. In this webinar, we'll be covering how a Girl Scout cadet earns their Silver Award. The first step in earning your Silver Award is learning the difference between a service project and a take action project. A Silver Award project is considered a take action project. A take action project addresses a need in the community it finds a long-term solution, it educates and inspires others to take action, and the project is sustainable when you're done. Now that you understand what a Take Action project is, we will now jump into the Silver Award requirements. You must complete your Silver Award while you're a registered Girl Scout cadet, and you must also complete a cadet journey prior to starting your Girl Scout Silver Award. You can do a solo project, or you can be in a team of up to four Girl Scouts. All intent forms must be approved prior to the start of your project. Each Girl Scout is recommended to spend a minimum of 50 hours on their project. Final reports must be completed and approved by September 30th of the year the oldest Girl Scout completes eighth grade. Below are some common questions that we get regarding the Silver Award process. When it comes to the deadline, we cannot offer extensions as these are set by GSUSA. Regardless of how much of a good idea your Silver Award project is, you must complete your journey prior to starting it. When it comes to supply drives or raising money for other organizations, these will not be good Silver Award projects. A supply drive is considered a service project and as a Girl Scout, we are not allowed to raise funds for other organizations. Whether you're in a troop or you're a Juliet, you can earn your Silver Award as long as you're a registered cadet. And when it comes to doing the project 100% by yourself, we will always strongly encourage you to seek out a team, regardless of its, if it's troop members, Girl Scouts, family, friends, or other community members. The next slides will cover the finances and money earners that a Girl Scout may need to fund their project. When it comes to raising funds for your Silver Award project, there are a few things you need to know. Fundraising hours do not count towards the minimum 50 hours for your Silver Award. Girl Scouts, Girl Scouts and adults alike may not raise funds for other organizations. Donation jars and GoFundMe pages are also not allowed if your Girl Scout would like to ask for a donation of supplies, they may do so. An adult must do it on their behalf after the Girl Scout describes the project. And the main way that Girl Scouts usually earn money is through money earners. Below you will see the money earner form. Money earners are where a Girl Scout provides a good or service in exchange for money. Some examples are a badge blast, car wash, yard sale, or bake sale, etc. Once you have filled out the form and submitted it to council, it can take up to four weeks to approve. Once you're approved, go ahead and do your money earner and list it in your final report income. Below are a couple of common questions we get about fundraising for the silver awards. When it comes to money earners, you send your completed form to the Girl Scout Council. It can take up to four weeks to process. When it comes to insurance needs, some money earners may require additional insurance. This usually is for when you may have people that are non-registered Girl Scouts attend. And when it comes to girls having adults ask for supply donations, it is for the safety of everyone. Once you have completed your Silver Award final report and it has been approved, you can expect to receive a letter from our CEO. You can also sign up to be honored at our next Young Women of Distinction ceremony. You can also hold a small ceremony with your local community. If you have any other questions regarding the Silver Award process, please feel free to reach out to our customer care via email or phone with the information listed on the slide 
and we will be happy to answer any questions you may have.